everyone, it's AFC Finners. We are starting the year off as we intend to go on. I'm back in Bristol a few months after seeing Bristol City. Now we're here to see Bristol Rovers. Cheltenham are away to them today. It's a good way to start off the new year. I've been to this ground twice before, both for Cheltenham games. I think Cheltenham lost 1-1-1 one, one, one in the two games I've done, but it's been a very long time since I've been here. It's a really nice old-fashioned stadium. My grandfather, a Bristol native, used to come here all the time and seeing plenty of Thatcher's signs is a good sign of my value. Yeah, we've just, um, just been wandering around, got here plenty of time before kick-off. Let's have a quick look around outside before we go in. Happy New Year, Tom. You excited? Oh, yeah, just bump into the camera and ruin my shot. <laughs> Who we got here? Oh, fan zone. Come on. Dance. <laughs> You're so cringe. Why? How am I cringe? I try to give good vibes. <laughs> Make your fun at parties. Perhaps. I'm a believer. Very cool though. Nice and retro. Big turnout already. Not even that close to kick off yet. John players are here. Right then, so it's about just over an hour and a half before kickoff. We're about to go inside the Memorial Ground, but before we do, let's find out a little bit about today's host, Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers were founded in 1883 and were initially named Black Arabs after a local rugby team. They changed their name to Eastville Rovers the next year, named after a restaurant they were founded in. They became a founding member of the Bristol and District League in 1892 and turned professional in 1897 upon which they changed their name to Bristol Eastville Rovers, and they soon removed the Eastville from their name to become Bristol Rovers FC. They joined the Southern League in 1899, and remained there until 1920, winning it in 1905. They moved into the third division of the Football League in 1920, and would spend 30 years there until they won the title in 1953. The 1950s saw further promise, as they reached their highest ever position of sixth, in the second tier twice, and also reached the quarter-finals of the FA Cup for the first time. In 1956, they also defeated Manchester United's Busby Babes 4-0 in the FA Cup. They were relegated to the third tier in 1962, and would remain there until 1974, winning promotion after finishing in second place. This campaign involved an 8-2 win over Brighton and Hove Albion side that was managed by Brian Clough. They remained in the second tier throughout the 1970s, but 1981 was a disaster, as they finished bottom and were also forced to reduce the capacity of their stadium. A fire would also break out at their home that year, which forced them to play matches at Ashton Gate, the home of their rivals Bristol City. They managed to secure a new deal at their Eastville Stadium, having nearly bought Ashton Gate from the bankrupt Bristol City along the way. They remained in the third division throughout the 80s, and World Cup winner Alan Ball would finish his career there. They left Eastville in 1986, ground showing of Bath City, and started the 80s well, winning the third division in 1990. They also made their first Wembley appearance, but lost in the final of the Football League trophy. They were relegated from the second tier in 1993, and whilst they would remain in the third tier for the rest of the decade, they had a new home, when the struggling Bristol Rugby Club allowed Rovers to buy half of the ownership of their memorial ground. Bristol Rovers would soon move back into their home city as a result. They would be relegated to the fourth tier in 2001, but they still promotion in 2004. They lost the Football League Trophy Final in 2007, but later that year, at the New Wembley, they defeated Shrewsbury 3-1 to win promotion. They spent a number of seasons in League One, but were relegated in 2011, and in 2015, the blue half of Bristol was in mourning, as Bristol Rovers were relegated, bringing an end to 94 consecutive years in the Football League. The next season did not start well, but they soon turned their form around, and sealed an immediate return to the Football League by defeating Grimsby in the playoff final on penalties. Things got even better the next season, when an injury time winner on the last day from Lee Brown catapulted the gas in the playoff spots to automatic promotion. They flirted with the playoffs, but ultimately finished 10th. However, it was still a remarkable rise so soon after being outside the Football League. They solidified a spot in League One for a number of years, but relegation loomed its ugly head in 2021 as they returned to League Two. 
However, under the management of Joey Barton, they finished third, winning 7-0 against Scunthorpe on the final day, having needed to score 7 to leapfrog Northampton into the automatic spots. Currently in mid-table in League One, the future is bright for the Gas, as they hope to make a return to second tier for the first time since 1993. Overall, they have won one third division title, one third division south title, one southern league division one, and 32 Gloucestershire Cups. In a bit of trivia, Bristol Rovers are officially the first ever team to win a game in the Football League Cup, as their victory over Fulham on the 26th of September 1960 kicked off earlier than all the other games played that evening. So those are our hosts, Bristol Rovers. Let's have a look inside their home, the Memorial Stadium. Hey up. So it. Not a bad meal deal here. We've got a drink, a veggie, a cheese pasty and a line bar. Seven quid for those three. I mean, I've seen better, but for football it's not too bad. Dancing with myself, oh oh, dancing with myself. This cheese pasty is absolutely glorious. Crispy, hot, lovely. Fair play Bristol Rovers, I think you get a good food racing. Stay in the same place, just in the time. Touching from a distance, forever all the time. Been here, two songs, Billy Idol and Joy Division. I like this DJ. Also, I must say, I don't approve of this at all. We're in Bristol. It should say, Ur game two. So it's good to be back here. I think it was about 10 years ago I last came here. Um, but no, I, I, I do like this stadium. It's nice and old fashioned, very unique. But I think, you know, Bristol always have had plans to get a new home for some time. And I feel like we might not have this stadium around for much longer, but it's, you know, it, this stadium was created as a memorial to the soldiers that passed away in World War One. So I think it's so important, like, as a site that those memories are kept alive but you know I think there's a lot of grounds that sort of design like that but no I think it's really cool it's good to have like sort of old fashioned wings I don't forget where you came from but I think if Bristol Rovers do move from here they'll make sure that this ground isn't forgotten very nice but just over an hour before kick off thoughts Tom having fun yeah how many, how many times have been to this ground again I can't remember I really can't it's about six or seven Good to be back. We're approximately midway through the first half at Memorial Ground. It remains deadlocked at 0 0. This has always been slightly better, but Cheltenham's starting to grow into a game now. I feel like one team will get a goal before half time. Not sure who. Still 0 0. Just short of 25 minutes in, I predicted some score before half time and it is the home team. Bristol Rovers lead, one goal to nil. Collins has played through and he's tucked it in beyond the keeper. One nil to Bristol Rovers. Not far from half time and the gas have doubled their lead. Cheltenham been very poor since they conceded the first, it's not surprising at all. Coburn has played through, potential offside, but it's not been given. And Bristol Rovers doubled their lead, 2-0. I think it's going to be a comfortable three points for the gas. <laughs> Half time, 2-0 to Bristol Rovers. It's been a poor performance for Cheltenham, and I don't see it changing to be honest in the second half. I think, like I said, it's going to be a comfortable Bristol Rovers ring. I could be proven wrong, but somehow I doubt it. I see Bristol Rovers getting one or two more. Half time, Bristol Rovers, two, Cheltenham Town nil. Snatched it and he's tucked it into the top corner. 2-1, game on. Chum did come back into it, but even though they had a lot of the ball, you could tell that it just wasn't their day. They weren't going to score. 
no matter what they did, it just was to go go in. And Bristol sit, Bristol Rovers, sorry, we were careful. Defended, did what they need to do, and they still on the three points. It's um, I thought a good result for Cheltenham, not the best performance, but promising for Bristol Rovers as they hope to march towards the playoffs. Full time, Bristol Rovers two, Cheltenham Town one. <laughs> So that was the Memorial Ground home of Bristol Rovers. It's good to have done both Bristol Grounds in the season. It's one of my favourite cities in the UK, so any excuse to come here is nice. That's always a shame about the result. I'm getting quite used to saying that about Cheltenham games. But yeah, I'd really recommend coming here. I think it's definitely one of the most unique grounds. The old-fashioned design it is really cool. And if Bristol Rovers' plans come to fruition, they could well move and leave it behind soon. So... Yeah, I'd say get here whilst you can. But yeah, I thoroughly recommend it. And good luck to them for the rest of the season. Let's see if they can push for a playoff spot. We're great to see them in the championship. But yeah, starting off the new year. So it means to go on. Third time I've been there. Very nice ground. And hopefully I have to come back soon. Uh, maybe one more time for if slash when they do move. So yeah, that was a memorial ground. Home of Bristol Rovers. It's a good start to 2023. Next week we are doing Millwall. <laughs> That's going to be very interesting. I'm off home now. I maybe have a few more drinks to ring in the new year. But we've got great plans for this year for AFC Finners, and I look forward to sharing them all with you. I shall see you next time as we continue to do many more grounds on this series for this year. I've been AFC Finners. See you next time. AFC Finners out. <laughs>